The state is continuing to keep a close eye on the number of coronavirus cases because of a noticeable increase over the last few days. Today, the Louisiana Department of Health reported nearly 900 new cases since yesterday. Now, that's not as high as we saw on Tuesday, but still a lot more than we've been seeing. There have been 18 new deaths reported today as well. And on a positive note, there were fewer people in the hospital and on ventilators today. But let's take a closer look at the cases in Jefferson Parish and Orleans and compare them. This chart that you see on your screen right now, it shows seven day rolling averages in new cases for both parishes since phase one reopening began. In the last seven days, Jefferson Parish has averaged about 50 more cases a day than Orleans. But we want to stress this graphic doesn't tell the whole story. The number of new cases can be influenced by other factors like increased testing and backlogged cases. And with Jefferson and Orleans leading the case count for our area, their approach to reopening and restrictions are very different. Mike McDaniel has that story. Two of Louisiana's most populated parishes, Jefferson and Orleans, which neighbor each other, lead the state in coronavirus cases. But how each parish moves through the reopening process is not in sync. Both parishes are averaging more cases per day since entering phase two. But Jefferson Parish leads Orleans, seeing a spike in recent days. This is the first big numbers we've seen in over two months. So that's very difficult for us to have to see on the dashboard. Jefferson Parish President Cynthia Lee Shang believes increased activity is contributing to the spike and says recent new cases are not part of any backlog or increased testing. My concern is that people are just letting their guard down and that as things look more normal, um, you know, you kind of lulled into thinking that things are more normal and they're certainly not. Since the outbreak began, Jefferson Parish has just more than 9,000 reported cases, while Orleans has just more than 7,600. Everyone has a responsibility. And In New Orleans, Mayor Latoya Cantrell no, fired off a warning to residents, visitors, and businesses in Orleans Parish, saying she'll shut the city down if phase two guidelines are not followed. We're not getting the level of response and respect from the community and our visitors that we desperately need. New Orleans is already a bit more restrictive than the rest of the state, even making face masks mandatory. Mayor Cantrell is even issuing a warning about large gatherings, saying police will be cracking down. We have to double down on our efforts. It is just that important. In Jefferson Parish, it's a bit more relaxed. Face masks are strongly encouraged, but not required. Shang says there is growing concern about some businesses not complying. It's getting to be known, so we're going to work very closely with our state fire marshal's office in making sure that um, we want compliance. It's the right thing to do. While their approaches may be different, both leaders say individual responsibility plays a bigger role than anything they could do. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. And you've heard Mayor Cantrell say she will shut down the city again if more people don't start abiding by the coronavirus restrictions like wearing a mask and social distancing. City health officials blame large uncont uncontrolled gatherings at some bars and short-term rentals for the spike in cases among young people. 50% of the new cases were among people 18 to 29. 10% are younger than 18. Public health officials are urging people who participated in high risk activities in recent weeks to get tested and to self quarantine. The city has now formed a new task force made up of members from the NOPD, city code enforcement, safety and permits and other state and local agencies. They will go after people and businesses violating the current gathering limits and other reopening restrictions.